In today's new Zenolist.com video, I want to show you about an exciting new stablecoin that has launched on top of the Zeno network. It is called Freedom Dollar. All the information about it is over at freedomdollar.com. And basically, it's a private censorship resistant stablecoin built on Zeno. FUSD operates semi autonomously through code, ensuring financial independence for anyone, anywhere. That's true digital freedom. Uh, and so uh, some other real important aspects here. I've been looking at the website uh, here. Uh, if we scroll down here, they have a nice list of the differences between FUSD and uh, the old guard Tether, right? So you can see like with Tether, uh, it's issuer controlled with a centralized entity. FUSD is user controlled with de a decentralized protocol. Uh, built on top of Zeno, uh, whereas USDT on the, all the other chains, totally tractable, totally public ledger, anyone can see. Here's the really, really important aspect, though, I think. With FUSD, your money is unfreezable by protocol design. With USDT and USDC and all these other stable coins on top of uh, most of these other you know, EVN blockchains, your money, even if it's in your wallet where you have the private keys, it can be frozen by the issuer right there inside your wallet. So uh, talk about having a censorship risk when your money can be frozen inside your wallet. It's not your money. Whereas with FUSD, it's highly resistant to being censored, right? And uh, it just uses an algorithmic market making and is decentralized rather than having centralized reserves and attestations from things like uh, Tether. And uh, again, like really, really, really uh, big game changer, I think, for all of crypto here that we have this uh, stable coin using semi-autonomous code uh, with no central operator versus uh, something that's controlled by a centralized entity. So how do we get started? If you go up to the top, you can click this uh, Git FUSD wallet, and you can see uh, you have all the choices here. Uh, Zeno Mobile Wallet, Cake Wallet, Bitcoin.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to be using the desktop uh, Zeno.org uh, wallet here. And so uh, if we go back here, you can see the next button is to get you FUSD. And it just uh, opened Zeno Trade here. But I'll show you uh, where I first became aware of it here. On the day front page of Zeno Trade, trade that thing without a work, rather, on the DEX, you can see these are the light list of tokens here. The most popular token of the entire day is FUSD, right? You can see... Uh, it's $817 worth have been traded today. It says the 24-hour change is through negative 3.89%. But what that actually means is because the Zeno price has been going up today, the price of this token has been one US dollar the entire time, but the amount of Zeno requiring to buy it has decreased because the price of Zeno has been going up today. So uh, anyhow, the next step is real simple. All you do is you click on this trade button uh, and then it will bring you to the, to the Zeno trade button here. And I'm going to show you here, we have our Zenolist wallet up right here. We already have uh, the Freedom Dollar in the wallet here, but I'm going to show you how to add it if you don't have it already. So in this case, I'm going to go, and you don't have to do this. I'm going to do it for the video. I'll tap Remove Asset, and I, I'm sure I want to remove it. And remember, I had 200 Freedom Dollars already, but yes, we're really Okay, now there's no Freedom Dollar in the wallet, and that's how almost everybody watching this video will be to begin with. But all you have to do then at that point is you go in here, and you can see here's this at USD... Uh, Thing right here. I click that. You want to copy this asset ID to your clipboard, right? So we'll copy that to the clipboard. And then you will batch your wallet and you'll click this menu auction in the upper right and you'll click white list asset. And then you will paste your uh, freedom dollar uh, asset ID right now and you'll click add token and boom. It is now added the freedom dollar to my wallet. The ticker is FUSD. That's the owner, asset ID. Current supply, maximum supply, right? So you click OK, and you see, OK, now it's back in my lot. I have 200 of them already, right? So now we'll go back here. We'll close this, and uh, we'll go back to the actual trade page. I think it opened that in a new window, so actually we'll close this one. Here we go, and we can see over here, uh, these are the buy orders. So this is uh, the market-making bot here that's ready to buy up to 2,444 of them at the moment. But let's say we want to buy another you know, 50 of them, right? And you can see the price that are being sold for $1.69. Well, if you want to um, sell them, let's see, uh, back to the, to the buy order side, the 99 cents, right? So the spread is uh, about a penny there uh, on the buy and ask side. So in this case, we're into the sell over. We will click this button right here, and it fills it all in on an act. We don't want to buy $3,442 worth at the moment. We're going to buy another $50 worth, right? And so you can see the price to buy $50 or even, even let's do $10, right? It's uh, $10.07 to buy that at the moment, right? So we'll let him click buy. 
And you'll notice right down here under my orders, you can see, okay, here's the Zana list to order it. And I can apply it to this instant trading bot for this right here, right? So a quick apply. And there it is. And I'm going to confirm that, yes, we want to be that. So quick confirm. If you watch here, there's my order. Boom. It's already been placed. If we go back to our Zana log, we can see if we click on history. There it is. I received 10 UF, uh, I'm sorry, 10 FUSD. And it paid uh, 0.84 whatever Zane, all right? So we paid $10 in sudden tents and got $10 in FUSD. And if we go and see the asset tab, instead of having $200 uh, dollars of FUSD, we have $210 of UF, uh, FUSD, which at the moment just worth uh, you know $1 each. And with a slight spread there, uh, $202.21. But now we'll go back and I'll show you how easy it is. Well, let's say I want to cash out and I don't want the uh, FUSD anymore. We'll go over to the um, buy orders tab. Here's the buy orders, right? 99 whatever cents. And so we just bought the 10. I will sell $10 back, right? And so it's hit, and I'll get the, it looks like $9.90. So there's a little bit of a spread there, um, but that'll tighten up the time as does more and more liquidity for Freedom Dollar and uh, for Zeno on the centralized exchanges. So then it's real simple. In fact, here we'll do, we'll double it up here. You will sell $20 worth. So we'll get $19.80, right? So we'll hit sell. Here it is right here again. There's my sell order for $20. We'll hit apply. And we'll go over here. And after this, I should have $190 left of uh, this token here. So we'll go back to the history. And you can see now I have 190 FUSD left. And uh, in the history tab, you can see here's where I bought Ken. And here's where I sold 20 FUSD. And it's right there. Uh, very clear to see. And uh, one other little uh, caveat here is in order to buy or sell your FUST from the wallet, your existing inputs have to have 10 confirmation. So we just did this one. It has a zero at the moment. Uh, one block on the Zynga block queue happens uh, once per minute on average. So in about 10 minutes, I'll be able to send and receive uh, these two transactions again to the next person or whatever I want to give. So again, really, really, really uh, exciting uh, that if you now buy or sell FUST on the decentralized, permissionless, distributed uh, Zeno Dex over at trade.zeno.org. And then you can zip around Biza, FUSD, anywhere in the world, permissionless, street, privately. Uh, you know, it works for everybody. I guess it's really, really exciting. To the best of my knowledge, there has never been a decentralized, private, scalable coin uh, available ever before. And then uh, I guess one other uh, step too. Let's say I actually wanted, and look, we already have uh, one of the confirmations here. Let's say I wanted to go and convert you know, these into actual dollars in my bank account. You could then go to whatever your favorite uh, centralized exchange or swapping service that, uh, that supports Zeno. And then you would then sell the Zeno into you know, USDC or USDT or USD, and then uh, have them do a wire transfer right to your bank account or you can get one of these credit cards where you can pay with one of the other more traditional stable coins and then just charge the credit card with that. Uh, there's, you know, what once you're back in the, you know, traditional uh, crypto ecosystem, it's even easier. But uh, I hear there are multiple centralized exchange listings uh, on the way for FUSD as well. Uh, so really excited to see all this coming together. So uh, if you think this is exciting, please share this video with a friend. Please tell your friends about Zdeno. Tell them about ZdenoList.com. And of course, tell them about the FUSD as well. Uh, this is really a true financial freedom for the whole world. You had a decentralized, autonomous, stable coin uh, pegged at one US dollar dealt on the Zango network uh, with the privacy that that entails. Really, really fantastic. So uh, again, please tell a friend. See you guys in the next one.